This is Professor Ostturk of the Faculty of International Liberal Arts at Soka University and he's currently working on a research project funded by the Japan Society for the Promotion of Science of the Japanese Government. Professor Ostturk's research is based on surveys of international visitors to Japan. This project, what we aim to look at is um, to discover the uh, attributes of different destinations um, and how uh, passengers visiting uh, these destinations are satisfied with these attributes. The timing for conducting the satisfaction survey is when passengers return to their cruise ships prior to departure. Passengers are individually requested to take part in the survey. The questionnaires are prepared in English, Korean and Chinese. Uh, so we have a three hour time window uh, that uh, we um, have uh, to survey these passengers uh, to understand what they liked, what they didn't like, how much they spent, you know, uh, demographical information, um, so on and so forth. Uh, so, so that's one uh, piece. Um, uh, the other piece is uh, we want to know um, this uh, intent that they declare. So they say that they will revisit Japan or they will revisit Nagasaki or Fukuoka, so on and so forth. Uh, or they declare that they will recommend uh, Japan to their friends and family. The locations for conducting the surveys range from Hakodate in the north to Ishigaki in the south. So far, surveys have been carried out at 33 locations and more than 1,800 overseas visitors have filled out the questionnaires. The research is ongoing. Do they, in fact, um, carry out that uh, promise, right? So, uh, and we would like to uh, survey them again uh, three years after the initial uh, contact uh, to see um, how many of them, in fact, uh, revisit, revisited Japan or recommended Japan to others. A few years ago, Professor Ostturk conducted a similar survey in Hawaii. So what did he discover from that? One uh, aspect was uh, distance. Um, where the passengers are from. So we found that uh, if they are traveling from far away, uh, naturally uh, they were less likely to indicate that they will come back to Hawaii. Um, another aspect was uh, the, the attributes that we looked at. Um, safety uh, was an important one. Uh, prices was another important aspect. The research in Hawaii was not a continuation project, so visitors' contact information was not required. However, when a similar research project was approved in Japan, asking for contact information was required in order to be able to find out three years later if passengers returned to Japan or recommended other people to come to Japan. Uh, it's a combination of things. It, I thought that uh, um, it's interesting to develop a prediction model uh, that enables uh, the tourism authorities to understand um, how they should um, channel the limited resources they have uh, in improving different attributes of a destination. Professor Ostturk's seminar students also participated in the surveys. Soka is a university where students come to study from many different countries, so the questionnaires were easily prepared. Lee Jisoo, a student from South Korea, worked on preparing the questions and participated in the survey conducted in Yokohama. So, Yokohama experience, I learned that it's really um, attractive area to travel, to explore. I learn um, when I come up with good questions and ask people to join 
And with that data, I can come up with meaningful results, which can help to improve our daily life and some broadly national problems. One feature of this project is that Professor Osterk's students are able to learn how to take charge of a research project. Uh, they understand how a research project is designed, uh, managed and executed all the way from uh, designing of the uh, survey instrument to collection of data to communicating um, with uh, government entities, uh, uh, so on and so forth. I think this is very valuable uh, for the students. Along with his students, Professor Osterk is able to share the attractions of Japan through the eyes of visitors from overseas. Everyone is eager to discover the results of the surveys in three years. 